If you're scrolling through endless search pages of webcams trying to decide which is the best webcam for you that's going to give you good picture quality and affordable price, well, stop the search. You've already got one of the best webcams with you already. No, it's not that old webcam that's been gathering dust and luff because that's awful. It's your phone, probably the best camera that you own. So why not utilize it? And all you need with your phone and on your PC or Mac is to download one app on each of them. I've tried loads of webcam apps in the past, but their limitations are usually hindered by better features behind paywalls or subscriptions. But with Camo, there's enough in the free version to get you going. The Camo app is available on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. While on your PC or Mac, you will have to download the Camo Studio app directly from their website. I will leave links to those apps in the description below. Just to show you how versatile Camo is, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S6, S9, a 2017 iPad Pro and an iPhone 13 Pro. So we're just about to download the camera app. So I've got it here on my iPhone. So you should be seeing the screenshot probably around about there. Let me download it. And I'll show you just how easy it is to set up. It's downloaded, so I'm gonna open it. And now we've got it installed on our phone. We need to do it on the computer. So let's get over to the Mac mini and download the Camo Studio app. So I'm on the Camo website here and all we need to do is download the Camo Studio app to our PC or Mac. So we can download it straight to Mac from here and it does say get it for other platforms. So if you click on that, you can see it is available for Mac OS and Windows. And also if you do it through a mobile device, you can also get access to the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. So now I have downloaded the Camo Studio app to my Mac Mini and this is what this is the interface that you come up with. And now straight away we can see everything that's on there. You can see it's got device, the audio settings, presets, overlays. Uh, Im image transformation, which is a pro feature, and, like that. and on this side you can have light adjustments and image adjustments. Now what you might find is through some older devices you get the image adjustments and light adjustments available for them, and then for it seems like newer devices or Apple devices all those light adjustments and those image adjustments are only available through the pro version of this. But if you just want to use it for webcams, that sort of thing, then directly connecting it to your phone should be enough. So now that we've got both apps installed on our computer and on our phone, we're going to now got to connect them. You can either do that wirelessly or via a cable. And um, we're going to do it wirelessly. So what we need to do is we need to add a connected device. So we need to press that button on the phone. And then on the computer screen, we also need to do the same thing, connect a device. And then you get this QR code. And then all you need to do is just scan your QR code. It's quite simple. It says connecting to Andre's iPhone. And it's essentially as simple as that. So now I've connected my phone to the computer via the Camo Studio app and the Camo app on the phone. And now I've got a usable picture. So let's go through the interface. So I'm just going to mount this above the computer monitor so that I've got hands free and then we can look at the interface on the Camo Studio app. So now I've got a direct feed from my iPhone or whichever phone you're using, whether it's an Android device or uh, an iPad. The process is always is going to be the same. So now I've got that feed directly from the phone into the computer that is usable. So let's have a look at the interface. So you can see here we've got camera settings. So if you do have another device connected at the same time, you can switch and choose. So I may have um, say an S9 connected and I can choose them at the same time. Although you can have them connected at the same time, you can't use simultaneous pictures at the same time. When you're using one, it sort of turns the screen off from the other. So when we're going through these different drop down boxes, you'll, you'll be able to see which is available in the pro mode. But you can see straight out of the camera, it's pretty good. It's got the auto adjust, so it pretty much does all the lighting and everything like that. So it gives you the monitoring of the phone at all times. So you can see our battery percentage is currently on 69%. It's got Got full access it's connected wirelessly so in modes here so where it's on normal we can select the focus being portrait but that is a pro and beta feature we can choose basic portrait so if we just click on that it changes that as you can see I'm in focus and then everything around me is you've got that nice bokeh effect there with background blur so we can choose so there's different features on this that we can also do so emoji face so you've got that might be something that you're into. So emoji face, emoji hands. So I'm assuming, okay, emoji one hand. Then we've got face follow, which is pretty good. Get that bit of distortion everywhere else, but that's, it's, it's okay. Masking invisible, 
make me invisible so you just can see my eyes so there's quite a few gimmicks on here just in available in the free mode so we got beauty it's meant to make me look better it's gonna be a miracle if that happens then we've got 8-bit and we've got sketch so it's doing all of this in real time which is pretty good for a free app as well novelty so we've got Jaguar so <laughs> there we go we've got that Obviously, you can save your face threads on your head. There we go, we've got a cat on my head. Chromatic. So, we've got that feature. Starry Night. I don't know what's going to do that. Okay, we've got that. Lightning. If you like that effect. Big Head. Okay, that's what that does. Okay. But most of the time, you're just going to have it on basic, either basic portrait or normal. So it's pretty good. So if you just want to, as you can see down there, you've got the watermark there, but you can turn that on and off like that. So if you don't want the watermark on there, you can turn it off. So there's also an option to utilize the different lenses of the phone that you're using. So obviously the iPhone 13 Pro has the ultra wide and the telephoto lens. So you can choose between those, or if you've got the phone the other way around, you can use the selfie camera. But as you can see here, the ultra wide and the telephoto is a pro feature. So you would have to upgrade. We'll talk about that in a moment. But even just using the wide camera here, it's pretty good. I have noticed on other phones that you use, whether I'm using the S6 or the S9, some of the features that are pro on the iPhone or on the iPad are actually free with those Android devices. So you can also change out of the focus mode. So currently we've got it set to autofocus, which is pretty good. So if I was to get something else, so I've got this phone here. So if I want to, you can see that the autofocus is pretty good. And that's using the iPhone's autofocus. But you can, there is an option to use a manual focus, but for the iPhone 13 Pro, this is a pro feature. We can change the resolution as well. So we're currently in 620p and landscape on uh, 16 by 9 in HD, which the quality is pretty good, but you can go even further, 1080p, and you can go even lower down. But as said, you can see which of the other features for the iPhone 13 Pro in particular are the Pro features. So we can change those, you can go even lower in quality, I don't know why you would sometimes, but depending on the quality, whether you're streaming or whether you're using uh, on a video conferencing call, you might not want such high quality, it might take up a load of bandwidth or something like that, but it does give you that option to change. But it's currently set to 720 and I think the quality is pretty good. You can change the frame rate as well. It's currently set to 30 frames per second. You can go all the way up to 60 and all the way down to 50. But once again, those are pro features. So I've got audio settings here. If the quality of the microphone on your phone isn't particularly good or you want to utilize a better external microphone, then you can do. I'm using an external mic for the purpose of this video, but I could also use the audio coming out of the iPhone itself. And it's quite easy to change. So you can choose no audio system default, either of the two iPhones microphones, or I can choose my external microphone that I'm speaking into for this video, or I can choose any other audio devices that you've got. Presets. So if you want to change the picture quality, then you can do. So I can, I've got saturation buff, nerf, mono, sync wave 1980s, tropical Hawaii, orc attack. Okay, that is horrible. <laughs> and lemononia, or you can create a new preset, which again is a pro feature we can reset the settings. So I've gone back to none, and then this is the standard profile on auto adjustments. Or you can choose none, which I think is pretty good. It replicates the, the true colors of this room. And then you've got overlays. So the, the default overlay is that one with the camo in the corner <laughs> there. As said, you can turn that on and off, which sometimes is usually a pro feature, but the fact that they give you the option to turn it on and off in this case is good. So the, let's have a look at the different other overlays. So you've got that, so you've got this one. So you can just put details in if you're doing a, a course. So whatever you see in this picture frame here, it will be translated to whichever video conferencing or streaming app you're, you're using. So exactly what's on this frame here will be shown on that one. So I could put my own personal details on there. We've got this one. 
So it's just different styles of the same overlay. You can use them, you don't have to use them. I'd rather just have a clean screen if I'm portraying it, particularly to another app, say like OBS or something like that. If I'm streaming, I just want a clear picture and I can choose my own overlays in that app. So you can also create your own overlays or you can import some from other places if you've got them. And you've got the overlay gallery so you can actually see what they actually look like. And then you've got image transformation here. So with the iPhone 13 Pro, these are pro features, but if you use other devices, like in a moment I'll show you with the S6, these pro features on the iPhone are actually available freely with those other devices. So you can mirror your video, you can stabilize the video. So if you're in this sort of environment where it's on a tripod like I've got it on, then you're not gonna to need to stabilize the video. You can rotate the video as well, or you can zoom in as well. And on this side, you've got the adjustments that you can make. Once again, these with the iPhone, they are pro features, but as you can see, as I've mentioned over and over again, with the auto adjustments, I don't feel like there's any need to make any adjustments, but you might be in an environment where you have to, but those are available as pro features. So you've got all the normal features like exposure, white balance, flash level, and then image adjustments and all those normal ones. So that basically is the Camo Studio app. And if you do wanna get those, if you are using an iPhone 13 Pro and want to utilize those Pro features, then you can upgrade. As you can see, the prices are there. You can have it as an annual subscription or you can buy it as a one-time price of that price. But it is up to you. I wouldn't do that because Personally, the free version just offers you enough to be able to just utilize this system in exactly the way that you want to use it, just as a webcam. And you can also choose your destination for recording. So within the Camo Studio app, you can also record directly from within it. So if you want to do some just talking head stuff like this, then you can record it directly through the Camo Studio app. And then you can choose where you want to save it. So I've got everything saved to desktop just for ease of use. So the good thing about the Camo app is that it allows you to put that picture that we see here in this interface and it puts it directly into whatever video conferencing app or streaming app that you're using. So let's go into Zoom and just see what it looks like in there. So I'm now in Zoom and I'm gonna start a new meeting. And as you can see, because it's already enabled as a webcam, it's gonna automatically pick it up. So I can join with computer audio. So as you can see here, the Zoom app is using the picture and the feed from Camo. We go there and we can choose our source. We can choose, in this case, the Camo app, which is automatically enabled, or we can choose another input that we've got. And then if we choose our audio device, we can use the Camo microphone, which is the iPhone 13 Pro's microphone. And then we can choose whichever microphones we want to. So, if, and as you can see, the picture on the Zoom app is pretty good. Remember, this is only 720p, and I think it personally looks really good, even at that quality. So now I'm in OBS, so if you wanna use this option for like streaming or something like that, it's as easy to do as if we were doing it in Zoom like we were before. So we wanna obviously, in this case, I wanna create a new scene. So I'm just gonna show you just how easy it is to set up the camo camera in OBS. So we wanna add a new scene. In this case, we're going to call it Camo. And then as sources, we want to add a new video capture device. Call that Camo as well. Call this Camo 1. And as you can see, in device options, the camo camera is already there and enabled, just like in Zoom. And then we can just make the changes as you would if you were setting up on any other video input device into the camo app. And if you wanna add an audio device, we can choose camo as well. We'll choose camo two. And now it will use the, as well as using the camo picture, it will use the camo microphone as well. So now when you're playing your games and streaming at the same time, you can utilize your camera in camo. So you might be thinking if you do need to make any small adjustments, whatever you do in the camo studio app on those image adjustments, they will affect the picture, whether you're using it in OBS or in Zoom or another application. So in OBS, just like with any other video input device, you can still make 
changes within the OBS settings themselves. So I can still change the resolution and I can still add any filters. So everything that is available to the audio and video filters, to the effects filters, everything that you had before, which if you were using another device, is still available to use here. So if I choose the color corrector, for example, let's call it that, I can still make those changes as normal. So that was the camo app using the iPhone 13 Pro. So I'm gonna pl now plug in the Samsung Galaxy S6 and show you the differences between the interface that I was showing you with the iPhone 13 and that Samsung. So I'm now using the camo app on the Samsung Galaxy S9. And you can see that compared to the iPhone 13 Pro, the camera quality isn't quite the same, but you'd expect that. But as was mentioned before, the interface and what are considered pro features are slightly different. So let's have a look at the interface. So you've still got, it's still the same interface, but what is unlocked is a little bit different now. So you've still got those same modes, but as you before, because of the, what the lens on the iPhone can do. It gives you a few more options. So we don't have that background blurriness so much. So if we go portrait, so we, we still got that one, but the iPhone one takes it a little bit further. So you've still got access to the same sort of features, but obviously the quality is a little bit different. Now this, this phone in particular that I'm using only has the one camera on its back and it has the two front cameras, so the wide and the normal one, but you have got access to both of them within the free version. So remember before with the iPhone 13 Pro, you could only go up to 720p. Now this goes up to a maximum of 1080p, but I'd still consider the 720p version with the iPhone 13 Pro looking a little bit better than the 1080p version with this phone. But all resolutions using this phone are unlocked. So with audio settings as well, we can use the Galaxy S9's two microphones. We've got access to the same presets, same overlays. Some of the settings that were locked within the version using the iPhone are now unlocked here. So we've got mirror video and stabilized video, which isn't enabled here, but if we were moving around, then it would be. And then we can rotate if we need to. And then we can zoom in as well. We don't want to get that close. And also on the right hand side, we've got light adjustments and image adjustments, so everything now is available for you to use and utilize. And remember, whatever we do here, if we go back into Zoom, let's open our new meeting, and we've got that picture from the Samsung Galaxy S9 here, and available to utilize in exactly the same way we did, whether we use an iPhone 13, whether we use an iPad, or whatever phone that is available and compatible with the Camo software. So I'm now back to using Camo with the iPhone 13 Pro and compared to the Samsung Galaxy S9, there is a marked difference between the quality of picture on that one and on this one. And even with this, I could justify using this at 720p and be perfectly happy with the picture quality that I'm getting. Well, that's the Camo app that you can use on your Android phone, you can use on your iPhone, you can use on your PC, you can use on your Mac, and it's all free unless you want to unlock those further options than you can do. So that's Camo. So versatile, you can use it with almost any phone with all of the big video conferencing, recording and streaming apps like Zoom, Teams, Skype, Slack, FaceTime, OBS, Streamlabs and loads of others. Now you don't need to deliberate over which webcam to buy when you've already got the best camera that you own in your pocket. If you've got any questions about Camo that I didn't mention in this video, just note them down in the comments. Thanks for watching, press that like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't for more camera, phone, photography and videography content just like this and I'll see you in the next one.